the World Championship match in general, I think it represents the highest level of professional chess, as it will determine the winner who gonna uh, win the title. So I think it's the most important uh, chess tournament. Uh, but since this year is a little bit uh, special, a little bit unique as Magnus withdraw, and uh, then the match will between uh, Neville and Dean. So I thought that it's still a match, but somehow I would more consider it's it like a very, very strong tournament. Well, I think it really depends. So for me, actually, I played both of them since very young age. Uh, of course, Dean is my teammate, so we've played a lot of times in our national tournaments and also at the global stage like Grand Prix and other events. On the other hand, uh, with Neville, I remember we started to play with each other in Waikanze, even back to the year 2007, maybe. So also those years I played very often. I think that both players are very strong, very aggressive somehow, although it probably represents a different aggressive style, but both are belong to the creative player, intuitive player, so I believe it must be a very exciting match. But if back to your question, like who has the better chances to win, I think it really depends. Um, I mean, personally, I also have some experience about uh, the match comparing to other events and like uh, uh, closed tournament, round robing, or even open tournament, I think matches like um, highlight. And uh, if we're just talking about the skills, I believe they're more or less even. But as I say, the match is not something like the best player will always win. Sometimes you need luck, sometimes you need the shape, you, you know, even you know, sometimes things decide within seconds. If suddenly you decide to switch your decision, make another decision, maybe that at the end they will decide the result of the match. So really it's hard to say, but I believe it will be a very interesting match. And look forward to their battle. Well, it's hard to say, as I mentioned in our previous question, that both players are aggressive. If they are playing, let's say, closed tournaments or any other type of format, I believe there will be uh, less draws. Let's say, for example, if we bring other two players from the top 10, I believe there will be more fights. But again, it's a match. Nobody would like to, you know, take the risk to fight for a win and uh, take the certain chances that you might lose because once you're behind in the score, it's very hard to fight back. So I believe that players might be more cautious, might be a little bit more serious to take any risks. If talking about this matter, maybe there will be some draws, but uh, again, it depends. As sometimes, you know, player style is kind of boring in nature. And uh, in certain type of positions, if you want to create a chaos, create a fight, maybe game will, uh, you know, uh, towards that direction. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see. And I believe that if players are reaching to their level, let's say the best level, they, they do have the ability to control the situation, let's say, to lead the position into the uh, into the direction they want. So it's really hard to say, but I believe that uh, there will be certain draws, but maybe not as much as, uh, you know, maybe some of the previous ones, so that they might occur a lot of draws. So maybe we'll see some resort. Yeah, match is a match, but match with Magnus or match without Magnus, I think that's different. As you said, I mean, personally, I don't think Magnus is the best player nowadays, clearly the favorite, the best. Um, if I'm talking from my own experience playing with uh, the strongest of the top players, still I feel like Magnus generally speaking stronger. Of course, it's hard for him to, let's say, win game among those top players, but still, generally he's uh, the strongest. So if he plays a match, maybe match is a match. But when he's withdrawn from the match, match is still a match. But as I said at the very beginning, it maybe also refers to a very strong tournament and that has been organized in a match format. I probably will take it this way. But if you are say, talking about if it's more bored or not, Mm, it's hard to say because uh, players are very creative, very aggressive, very experienced and very young and both I believe have this passion, have this eager to win the title because none of them have won the title before, right? So once you have this uh, uh, passion on your inner side, maybe it will become more interesting, but I believe players should also deal with their pressure, you know, do not let this pressure pressure overtake their strengths. That's very important. 
So this is the first time that we have our Chinese player playing this World Championship match, the strongest tournaments, and ha objectively have the chance to win the title. I believe that's a big thing for the chess community in China. So, for example, I read the news today in our website that they is traveling to Astana. So actually, a, a lot of uh, chess fans, uh, media are pay attention are following this uh, big event and if let's say if he won so that would be the achievement of the last step from one of our um, one of our chess leader who used to uh, give a strategy uh, as we call the four steps in china so the first step i, I believe it's uh, uh, the, the first two steps are the team tournament and individual tournament of women's chess to win the title and then the third step is to win the team championship for or the Olympiad for the open section and the last step is to win the individual one so we are kind of in the era to reaching the fourth step which means the last step so this is kind of important thing for the chess community and uh, I believe that it might you know gives a bit more like responsibility or pressure adding on a bit more pressure on D and I, I, I think as a player uh, he can he should and he will tackle this uh, pressure and uh, take it as an encouragement to show the performance as I think for players is very important to trying to let these distraction away and purely focus on trust itself take it as any other regular event.